Hey everyone, welcome to my new tutorial. Thanks for joining in today. And today we're going to talk about a new function that has been added in one the version 1932 beta. It's still a beta function, which means it's not final, but I, I can show you how powerful the function is. And the function I'm talking about is, is a fading over group grids. So if you're not sure what it means is, if you ever applied palettes uh, with an offset across fixtures, you know what I'm talking about, five star, um, uh, five star plus palette, whatever, you, you know it, it, it can easily apply across the multiple fixtures. However, when you're working with the grids of fixture, like in my case, I have 100 RGB parkans that are, list, uh, that, that are looking at me uh, front look and they it will have a grid of 10 by 10. So this been asked before, how can you apply that overlap across the whole grid? So the magic you knows that it is actually say two by two or 10 by 10 or 100 by 100 grid. So for this thing, we've added a new functionality. Here's a little example. So how it works. So now you can see, you can apply and if, uh, a palette. This is just simple, a color palette applied in a different direction. And here are all the different examples of how the palette can be applied. And just for all of you to make it a little bit easier, I have actually created a document with the shortcuts that actually shows you all the functions that we have and what you need to do, like say time, and then you type in star, dot dot and click on palette and that will apply uh, uh, this the the effect you're going to see results are going to be in front of you and this file i'll make it available from uh, the comment section uh, description section of this video so again if you if you want you can always find the same information in the manual it's in the section 10 dot 11 dot one it's called fading over group grids if you're watching in the very future and the, the section might have changed but this is just give you a indication how it's called and um, also we had it in the software changes for the version 1932 you can see here version 1932 and this section has been added here you'll see there is a at the moment there's a typo here it should be star plus 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 but let me show it to you how it works. So in my case, for example, let me show you on the grid of RGBs. So if I'll select my group of fixtures, I'll turn them on. If I want to apply a palette that will go from left side, from left column to the right, for example, I will press three seconds star dot dot and then I'll press red and you will see it goes from left to right. For example, if I want to make it other way around, I can do three star slash slash and I'll press this palette. And don't forget, you can always record that as a cue and then you can do multiple and that will look like an effect or it will look like a chase. So there's other functions. Let's say you can do uh, a four seconds star uh, uh let's say plus plus uh yeah plus 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 and then you can do this palette and it's going to go from top and bottom towards the center or you can do uh four star minus 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 and you can do magenta it's going to go center out and then for example have even more complex if you'll do time star plus minus and then you apply a direction you're going to see that it goes from the corners towards the center or if you do time star minus plus and you apply the palette you're going to see it's going to go from center to the out so again this is really powerful and it works across your um, grid so that means if you save it and then later on you increase the size of the grid then it will it will continue still continue applying it as it is so that means it's very dynamic and it based on your group grid so this is what I'm talking about is the group so when I patched 100 RGB uh, RGB LEDs 
and then it creates for me the group so if you select that group and if you go to the view grid it will create for you um, a group grid for the leds 10 by 10 that's all you need so if it's a different size of course you can change it by using set uh, set grid size and make a different grid again this is the video is not about creating the grid but this is how to use it so it's all based on a group grid that means it's linked to here and of course as, as you know the group grids are used for the simple pixel mapping but nevertheless so if you select the lights uh, select the group and the group grid has been created again it's the grid with the name group in the beginning and then you will be able to apply but then you will say right okay but how different it is from the normal uh, palette offset that you can do let me show it to you on a bigger grid so let's say we have now a grid of three different type of fixtures in my case i have uh, 20 Roby BMFLs, that truss, 14 Maverick MK2 spots, Chauvet Maverick MK2 spots, that truss, and I have eight uh, Rogue R, uh, Chauvet Rogue R3 wash. So three different types of fixtures, uh, three different quantities of fixtures, and uh, three different trusses. So what I did was I've selected all three groups and I have created a super group, the one that will actually have all the fixtures together. So I call it whole grid. Then I've opened the, uh, uh, I've opened, uh, give me a second. Yeah, so I've opened a uh, view. You will be able to see that it has a grid in that grid i have it's 20 by 5 grid so the front top row is my bmfls the middle row is my um uh, chauvet uh, maverick mk2 spots and the third row is the chauvet rogue r wash so having this as my group grid now magic you knows that it has this layout so what it means is now if i will apply let's say if i will apply a color that will go from left to right then it will go according to the group according to the grid so that means first this one will start then this one this one it, this fixture will only start when the color comes to here look so if i select the timing well, let's say five seconds star dot dot to go from left to right and I'll press red, you will see it now fully synchronized and it actually keeps in mind your group, group grid. That means if you make the group grid correctly, you will be able to apply it for the two, uh, I would say it's like a 2D or XY uh, positioning of your effect. Let's say, for example, if I store it now and I will make it all go white and then i'll look into my grid and look how it's going to look like you switch it on and then the colors will turn in okay so as you can see the colors have been applied according to the 2d position or x y position of the grid that means you can easily move things around within the group grid and the effect will stay the same and it will be fully based on your grid so i hope it was useful I think it's a very very powerful feature that you may not come across on the other platforms and this is how easy it is to apply again if you've forgotten the key combination or shortcuts how to use them you can always find them in the manual or you can find them in the document that I will uh, supply a link to uh, under this video so again this is all combinations and this is it shows you all the examples so you will not forget them thank you very much for joining me today and have a lovely day bye bye